Crime scenes in the Roden murder investigation are now in a new permanent home, but Pike County had to take some unprecedented steps to get them there. And the Nine Under Side I team has learned taxpayers are on the hook to guarantee those trailers stay secure. I team reporter Hillary Lake is here to explain why the sheriff's office moved the evidence. And Hillary, what's the cost here? Well, guys, the county says moving these trailers is necessary to make sure the crime scenes aren't compromised. This means sheriff's deputies have moved them not once since the road murders happened a year and a half ago, but twice. From afar, it looks like a junkyard. Look closer inside the barn and you'll spot a house. It'll be uh, a sealed and used to house the uh, trailers that were the crime scenes in this case. Wrapped in plastic, it's one of the homes where someone killed eight members of the Roden family in April of 2016. Why they're now at the Pike County Sheriff's impound lot comes with a taxpayer price tag. It is fair to say that BCI probably left no stone unturned as far as analyzing them, photographing them, those type of things. County prosecutor Rob Junk tells the I team last Thursday the sheriff's office moved four trailers, which are evidence in the case, from the Hadsel Chemical Building a few miles away. Once they're at the, the pole barn on the uh, premises at the sheriff's impound, uh, there should not be any worries there. Deputies initially moved the homes after the murders happened from properties on the hill near the Adams County line. They stayed locked inside the chemical warehouse for 18 months. It was one of the few places in Waverly that was big enough to hold uh, mobile homes, a piece of a house, and a uh, camping trailer. Court records show Hadsel Chemical and the company's owner, Don Hadsel, filed for bankruptcy in April. The building also faces foreclosure. The Nine on Your Side I team discovered in August the Pike County Board of Commissioners approved an emergency motion to spend nearly $96,000 so the sheriff's office could build that barn just to house the rodent crime scenes. The county had already spent $160,000 to move the buildings the first time. At some point, yeah, we could do a jury walkthrough if and when there are charges. Investigators still haven't named any suspects, but the attorney general and the sheriff said in June they wanted information about the Wagner family. Jake Wagner was the boyfriend of murder victim Hannah Roden and shares a daughter with her. The Wagners have moved to Alaska. I'm confident at some point that there, it will be solved. Both the attorney general's office and the sheriff tell me they're confident the trailers are secure in that new building. The sheriff tells me he took photos and videos of the move for chain of custody purposes, but he won't release the images because of the investigation. The I team has also learned the state of Ohio has reimbursed Pike County nearly $140,000 for expenses related to that murder investigation. Mm. Wow. Back to you. Hillary, thanks so much for keeping us up to date on everything that's happening out there.